Remember what I said we're gonna put that interesting thing on state up? Where it's like you kind of crying. We put the morning cause I stayed up. Yeah. Okay. We need that emotion. Alright. I know that it's not. Is is that is that loud? Yeah, it's it's I can't hear now. Oh. With with it for nothing, yeah. Say I'm sorry is about the moment you were, you were realizing that you're you have taken someone you love for granted and then you feel regret in your heart and you cannot rewind time because you know everything has been done. Something happened and I told the writers about it. I told Emily about it. About yeah, something personal that happened in my life and she was like all right, let's write a song about it. Once we heard this beat and she came up to me and said, let's write a song about breakup and about uh, how you regret having uh, taken someone you love for granted and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, that's perfect. Process of the shooting, it's, uh, this is quite spontaneous, you know. I pitched the idea to the director, I just want to be simple, I just want to shoot it in the room and just uh, capture the intimacy of a couple. <laughs> and actually we use our friend's house. <laughs> we, didn't even, we didn't even have to pay because he was our, our, our good friend and he, he, we love his house. The acting part was hard, especially when you have to like kiss and you have to hug and do all that kind of stuff, which it's very uncomfortable uh, on camera, of course. The director is uh, David Lingar. I worked with him uh, a few times uh, and we become really good friends. I had this idea of having Pepe Town this uh, video, we go way back. We've been good friends for years. Because we have to do like very like romantic and very intimate scene that I have to, I have to be comfortable with my uh, like acting partner. And um, so I was very nervous since before the shooting start. Thank God, yeah, Pepe Town is such a pro. So she made me comfortable and uh, Mas Duffy, also uh, the director that I worked with, uh, a lot of times, he also made it very casual, uh, so I ended up enjoying the whole thing. You ready? Yeah. There's the funny story about that. Initially, I didn't want to do uh, Say I'm Sorry. So when I first heard the beat, I was like, no, I don't think I can do that. I don't think, I was trying to tell them that, no, I don't think it suits me. But they were like, no, you have to try it, you have to try it. I wasn't really feeling it, so I didn't put too much effort. And that's the take that they use, that you hear right now, that one take. Uh, so when I went out the, the vocal booth, they were like, see? <laughs> you know, when I heard it, I was like nodding my head. And I said, yeah. <laughs> I hope that a lot of people can get the songs that we did on this album. Uh, and actually make them feel better. I really hope that this album can, you know, lift somebody up in this challenging time, hopefully. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy my new music video and I'm hoping that you can feel the emotion that we're trying to portray in the video and yeah, let's watch it over and over again.